What's going on everyone? Bender here showcasing a little program I've uh, been designing. Um, what it basically does is it will change whatever version of Minecraft you are using. Now to the standard user this might not be you know too important but to people who are switching between snapshots a lot this can actually be very helpful. Uh, okay get a bit of uh, desktop glitching. Don't know why. There we are. Okay so as you see here it is and if we go ahead and open up my minecraft go ahead and log in you see that i'm on 12 w 39 a so what i can do is i can use my little program i designed and it loads up uh, the available versions which by the way is if you uh, that's kind of a setup you have to do yourself or when I showcase one of the when I tell you show you guys one of my features uh, it might not be too much work but you go into your bin folder and as you see I have of course my standard minecraft uh, jar file and then dash 1.3.2 dash snapshot w uh, 12w 24a so on and so forth as you see it lists all the ones that have you know a dash afterwards and that's basically a little formula that the program catches on to <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, it fills that list with the different versions. So we saw that I was on 39A. Let's say I wanted to switch back to 1.3.2. Uh, I just hit swap. Successfully swapped out Minecraft versions. Go ahead, exit. Go back into Minecraft. Log in, and I'm back to 1.3.2. Now, what I was talking about earlier about with one of the features is just recently actually I think that was today oh no yesterday uh, Mojang released a new snapshot 12w40a and I've already t downloaded and everything and that's what's right here it's just labeled minecraft.jar so instead of having to rename it and then move it to your bin file I'll go ahead and close that is uh, minecraft. is my program what you can do is you can take it drag a jar file onto the list and it says add snapshot and this is just the location you can uh, you don't have to mess with that and this is the new file name so I'm gonna put in snapshot oh, that's not how you spell snapshot snapshot uh, dash 12 w 40 a I believe that's what it was whoops 12 w 40 a yep uh, oops um, hmm I need, oh, there it is. It's hiding right back there. I see it. Never mind. Just a little technical difficulties. And all you have to do is click on Move to Bin Folder, and boom, it's added. Uh, so if we go back to my Minecraft, go to Bin. There it is, just like in the format of all the others. 12w40a. Um. Now, if you see, there's a folder here that's normally not there called Backup Jars, and what that is, ooh, there's quite a bit is what happens is with this if you have this check mark checked it says backup current minecraft jar now what that will do is if this is checked and you hit swap it will take the previous version since uh, let's since we have 1.3.2 as our last version uh, what will happen is if I uh, click swap with 12w40a go ahead and do that it says it's done it now we go back to minecraft go to our bin folder Backup jars, you see there's an underscore 14 one. And that's our 1.3.2 jar. Um, I may switch around a couple features that uh, with that. May have it uh, tell you what version it was. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. You can also hit file, clear backups. It'll ask you if you are you sure. You hit yes, go back to here, go to your bin, go to backup jars. Nothing in there. So yeah, I'll have the download link to this in the description. Um, I may have future versions released, I'm not sure. I mean, this is pretty much, you know, complete and everything, so. I may have some of that uh, may automatically download new snapshots if they're available and stuff like that, but, you know, just, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, this has been Bender, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.